Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Karasev and I'd uh, like to show you how to import uh, sales orders from XML source file uh, using Contoso virtual machine uh, cumulative update 9. You can download this virtual machine from uh, Microsoft um, uh, Dynamics uh, partner source and then you can mount it and um, be sure that you um, activated uh, that you have uh, internet connection so machine will be activated otherwise it will shut down in 20 minutes to avoid typing in the xml code just find this document microsoft um, website uh, then uh, go down and copy this into uh, your notepad on your Dynamics uh, 2012 virtual machine, go to the system administration, then um, find the um, inbound port, find this one. It should it should be uh, it, it should be uh, pre-installed and pre-activated, and click deactivate. Click close. Now click to um, th this. This is where you place your your XML file. Okay. Now click on Service Operations. You should see Sales Order ser Service Create here. It, it should be preset. You don't have to do anything. Just double check. Now go to Data Policies. Here it's important. Um, scroll uh, sort by. Uh, required then say clear or all required fields okay now go back and sort by uh, enabled okay be sure that you have um, customer account and item id here Okay, click close now the file which th that we created here okay here replace this with uh, existing account in your uh, system I would recommend you to go and double check something like this go to um, uh, sales and marketing all sales orders Th this is a valid sales order so sales customer is the US001 and item number is D0001. Okay, item ID D0001. And let's make quantity 1. And the sales unit change to each. So that's what we have to have here. Three zeros, one. Okay, sales quantity 1 for simplicity. Now let's save this file. Click save as, then um, change this to um, all files and um, save it in local C AIF in. Give it a name, sounds like sales orders. Dot XML. Go back to here to uh, USMF system administration uh, inbound ports okay this one we deactivated as you remember click active activate and let me open the folder you see sales order file which we just created and placed here. Uh, go to uh, batch jobs and uh, just double check that this batch, which is uh, which this should be in waiting uh, status. You you can change it in function like change status. And that be sure that this is waiting. Now recurrence make it one minute every one minute. Now we will wait. All right. In one minute, the file disappeared from here. Now go up one step, 
and then take a look at um, in here this is the um, result sales ID created 000962 let's go to our system sales and marketing all sales owners and then here is our document 962 okay so we got uh, customer ID US 001 and this is our item ID 00D0001 